Hello everyone and welcome to the Guna Factory. So today we'll be talking about last night's game between Arsenal and PSV and a massive update in the Ivan Tony saga. Things are looking good for Arsenal but also Declan Rice, a new position maybe. So what was Arteta's thinking behind the switch and why he just might have to play there in future games. So let's get into it. So firstly the game last night and it was Arsenal 1, PSV 1. And overall, it was, to be honest, a fairly uninspiring game to watch. I don't know about you lot, but I was sort of watching that game, kind of waiting for it to ignite, but it, it just never really did for me. Now, there was some good stuff that was being played, and there, there was players from both sides who was trying to leave their print on the game. Nelson for Arsenal always seemed to be pushing. He played with a lot of confidence. I mean, he didn't get his goal, but I just think the effort from him definitely deserves a mention. And I think Ramsdale actually had a fairly decent performance. He didn't come across as nervous as he has looked in previous games. He sort of seemed assured. His positioning was always good. And actually, he got a man of the match from whoever wrote that BBC article this morning. So definitely a positive one from Ramsdale. And hopefully now he just keeps getting chances this season so we can see what he can do. And Eddie Nketiah, I feel... You probably have to give him a mention. He took his goal really well. And that was a proper centre forward goal. And we know Eddie's got that in his locker. The only thing with him is the consistency. Some games he can look really good. And in other games it sort of just drifts by. But if he can keep scoring like that at a time where Jesus doesn't seem to be at his most clinical. And Ketia is going to keep getting chances. So lastly on the game. Arsenal's new centre back Declan Rice. So here's what Arteta had to say after the game on it. So the reporter asked him. Just one on Declan. What does he bring you at centre back that perhaps that's perhaps different to the other players you have there? What qualities do you like when he's in that role? And Arteta said, "Well, he's played there before. We have to try because if we have an emergency, we have to understand and we have to ensure that we can fulfil that gap in the right way." And I think he was really good. Obviously, he gives you a lot of composure on the ball. He wins a lot of duels. He's got the size and he's done it in the past, so it's a good option. So what do I think about that? I think Arteta is obviously scared of how thin we are at the back at the minute. We have two key defenders out injured in Tomiyasu and Yuri and Timber. So he's thinking, what do I actually do if I get another injury? And he's probably seen this game as the perfect opportunity to see if Declan Rice can play in that position to a high standard. Because we know we have Partey back in a few weeks. So if another defender gets injured, he now knows we can play Declan Rice centre-back and Partey in the holding midfield role. Now, obviously, he will be hoping we never have to line up that way. But just with the amount of games coming up, you always need to be aware that it is a possibility. And last season, not having Saliba derailed Arsenal massively. So this is just Arteta trying to be one step ahead of the game. So that leads us on to Ivan Toni. And we have some news from a top, top source in Fabrizio Romano. So here's what he had to say. I'm hearing his preference in terms of a top club move in January or the summer would be to go to Arsenal. From what I'm hearing, Ivan Tony could be really excited by the possibility of joining Arsenal. So there we have it. We've heard for weeks now how Arsenal, Chelsea and other top clubs are interested in Ivan Tony. But that's like the first clear source that we've had that says this player wants Arsenal. So if you're an Ivan Tony fan, this is massive news. Because if Arsenal pull the trigger and decide, no, this guy is the guy we want. And now we know Ivan Tony wants this move as well. There's nothing really holding this deal back. So let's have a look at what Ivan Tony would bring to Arsenal. Here are his numbers. So last season, he scored 21 goals in 35 games. Look, those are really good numbers. And you'd probably have to say that at a top side, those numbers could be even higher. So this could be a striker that is more than capable of pushing 25, 30 goals a season. But would this deal be a gamble? I'm going to give you a couple of reasons on why it might be okay. So let's look at this from all aspects. So he hasn't played in almost a year due to his suspension. So you have to worry, how's that going to affect him? But then you have to look at how he plays. And it is different to the way that we currently play. For example, he doesn't have as good link-up play as Gabriel Jesus, for example. So you have to bear that in mind. What you're gaining in goals, you're probably losing in link-up play and bringing the wingers in. So their numbers will probably drop off slightly. So now the positives. And the main one for me is this is a player who's played all through the leagues. And I love that. This guy, 10 years ago, was playing in League 2. So at 17, he was playing League 2 football as a striker. And he excelled at that level. Then a couple of years later, moved up to League One, excelled at that level. And in his last season in year one, in all competition, he scored 26 goals in 39 games. So League One and League Two, these are leagues where you have to have a presence about you. You have to be strong. You have to be rugged. And to be honest, you have to be able to take a whack. So he has that. And then he goes up to the championships. And now you still need to be tough. But you're playing against players who have unbelievable technical ability as well. So how does he get on? So his first season in the league, 
45 games, 31 goals. Didn't miss a beat. Moved up without any problems in the world. Next season, straight up to the Premier League. First season, all competitions. 37 games, 14 goals. Still a respectable number from someone who a few years ago was playing in League 2. But then he acclimatised to the next season in the Premier League. He smashes it. 35 games, 21 goals. So this is a player who scores goals at every level he plays football at. You know, and you've only got to watch him and you'll see he's strong, powerful, fast, technical. His hold-up play, he can run in behind. He does everything. And to be fair, the more I've looked into Tony's journey, the more convinced I am that if he does come to Arsenal, he's going to score goals because that's his character. But I'd love to know everyone's thoughts on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something slightly different. If you want Arsenal to sign Ivan Tony, hit that like button just so I can monitor it. And as always, thanks to everyone for watching and listening. If you could, as I said, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll speak to you all in tomorrow's video. Gooners, have a good day.